Hey everybody, happy holidays. I am back with a thrifting haul. I haven't done one of these in a really long time and I've been thrifting a decent amount lately and I have found some really good stuff. And so I thought today I'm gonna show you for my most recent trip. I just got back, I unloaded everything on my coffee table. I'm gonna flip you around and just kind of walk through what we picked up today. Now, I've been getting pretty lucky at thrift stores for the last couple of weeks. I've had some time off of work and I've just had like the bug. So I might have to check back in another video and show you some of the other sweet things that I've recently found, but we're gonna focus on today's most recent trip. But there's some good stuff. So let's go ahead and take a gander at what I picked up today. All right, one of my most favorite sections to spend some time in is the book and the record section in thrift stores. I've noticed lately that I've seen a lot more people looking through the records, so I think it's catching on. In fact, I used to be able to find so many uh, Christmas records, and now I don't see any at all. They're all like gone and picked over. So it's harder these days to find good records in thrift stores, but I still look because it's fun. And I love to look through the books. So I picked up this one, The Night Circus. Whoever had this beforehand loved it to pieces. I mean, look at all these notes. It's filled with notes. Um, it had really good reviews on Goodreads, so I thought I'd pick that up. Another one, I love all of her books, and this one had good reviews as well, Little Earthquakes. My toddler, Carson, found this one, and it was cheap, and I thought, why not? It's just a CD we can listen to in the car. And then when I'm teaching, sometimes I like to take little things like that from home that are different than what they're used to at school. I found this one, The Night Before Christmas. We have this book, and so I thought it would be fun to kind of watch this and then read the book after. Hold on, switch that around. Read the book and then watch this. I got seven. This movie's a bit trippy, but I do like it. And then I found this record, which I think was a pretty good score. It's just kind of a hodgepodge of a bunch of different artists, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to have because it's so many different types of music and artists mixed together on one album. There's some good ones in there. I found this really pretty mercury glass thing. The camera's not focusing. I can't tell if it's focused or not. I think it's focused. This was only 99 cents. It seems like it was used for a candle before, but it's very clean inside. So I don't know if they cleaned the candle out. It looks like they scraped the bottom of it. I thought I'm gonna put it on my nightstand on top of some books and either put a votive in it or use it to collect like hairpins or random earrings that I forget to take off before I go to bed. It's really pretty. And then, okay, let me, let me give you this story. Let me flip you around real quick. So we've redone our kitchen. You may have seen it in vlogs like here and there. I haven't really talked about it a whole bunch or showed a bunch of it, but I mean like majorly redone. Redid the backsplash countertops, painted the cabinets, redid our kitchen island. Um, we still have to paint the walls. We got a new sink, a new stove top. I mean, completely gutted. So now that we've switched our kitchen around, our dishes and stuff, they just don't really match anymore. We've had them forever, like probably eight years, maybe longer. And some of them were from the Dollar Tree. Yes, and they have lasted longer than the ones that were more expensive. Anyways, I've been wanting to get new dishes, so I've been looking out for a while. I just kind of keep an eye open for either a really good sell of something I like or possibly thrifted dishes, and I hit the jackpot last week, I think it was. I got a whole new set. They are beautiful. I would have wanted to buy them in store if I would have seen them. They're, uh, it's stoneware, and they're kind of like a creamish. I'll have to show them to you. I'll show them to you. Uh, maybe at the end of this vlog I can pop up a little video and show them to you so you can see what I'm talking about But I kind of wanted to like mix and match pieces and kind of keep in the same color palette But include different pieces and it's been really fun hunting and gathering and piecing things together So I um the reason I'm telling you this because you're gonna be like why did you get these plates? They're so simple looking but you'll see in the end when I show you the clip See what I'm saying very simple. It's just they're just stoneware with this black line around it but I like them, and then you'll see how they go well with my other set. So not everything matches. I do have some repeats in the ones I scored last week, but I kind of like how they're all different and then they go together. Along the lines of that, I've decided to get rid of a lot of my coffee mugs because, uh, I don't know, I just, I wanted, I wanted to build a collection more of ones that like meant something to me or we picked up on trips or that I thrifted because I love a good vintage mug. And so since I've decided to get rid of the like matchy matchy mugs, again, that we've had forever and we're all chipped up anyways, I needed to replace them. I have found so many awesome mugs at Goodwill. How cute is this vintage stoneware mug? I mean, seriously, it's beautiful. 
And then today I found these. I can see how these are not for everybody, but they're really pretty. Look at the handle. There was a set of six, but I didn't need that much. And again, I'm trying to, most of my mugs don't match now, and so I don't really have a pair, but I figured I'd get a pair in case somebody comes over for coffee and I wanted a matching set. But um, I need to show you some of my vintage ones that I've thrifted recently too. Maybe when I show you my dishes, I can show that to you. So along the lines of thrifted dishes, I saw this, and I usually turn my head when I see Christmas dishes because I always want them, but I feel like we would just store them and they would only get used once a year, you know? But I just couldn't pass this one up because look what's on here. Hello, log cabin. For those of you who know us, we travel often throughout the year and we like to stay in cabins when we go places. I'm a bit obsessed. I hope someday to retire and have a cabin of my own. And so I, I just couldn't pass that one up. And it looks like a good sized coffee cup for a latte. And then it had a matching bowl, which this is like a perfect cereal bowl size or ice cream bowl if you really want to go to town in your ice cream. And then I figured if I store those with our Christmas decor, it's not taking up a huge amount of space like a whole dish set would. Uh, something else I got was, what are you wondering what this is? It looks a bit weird. When I saw it, I thought, oh my gosh, a s'more set. No, it's brownies. So it's the Melissa and Doug line, and Melissa and Doug does food, play stuff, right? Oh, their stuff is just genius. They can do no wrong. So you take all these off. It comes with the pan. This was, I, th I think I'm not telling you guys how much stuff was, sorry. And this isn't focusing. So this is $1.99 for this. I think these were 99 cents for all of this stuff. Um, and then you pretend to bake your brownies and then you can put the toppings on after. They have a cookie set that's kind of like this too that my boys love. Um, and then you can kind of cut them out and serve them up. So one of the things that my youngest guy, Carson, asked for Christmas is for baking stuff. So this is perfect for him. He saw when I got it. I'm going to let him play with it today after I clean it up. But um, for, you know, $1.99, perfect. This is so cute. Let me see if I can get them out one-handed. It's an old little, it's not that old, but kind of vintage looking uh, little bear Christmas ornament. And it's a bell. It's so sweet, isn't it so sweet? So my littlest guy, his name is Carson, but we hardly ever call him Carson. We call him Carsey or Carsey Bear. And because we call him Carsey Bear, we're kind of obsessed with all things bear for him. Um, Target right now has some really cute bear themed clothes for little boys, like pants and sweatshirts and stuff, and we've picked those up. And then to kind of remember that we call him Carsey Bear, because I'm sure at some point he won't like us doing that anymore. Right now, he actually prefers to be called Carsey Bear over Carson. Um, I got him this little bear ornament this year, and I was just, I liked that it was wood on the back, so I'm going to write a letter about, you know, Carsey Bear and how we like calling him that. And so when I saw this other bear ornament, I was like, yes, we have to get it because it's so stinking cute, and it's got big cheeks just like him. Okay, oh, we have one more thing here, and then we're going to move to clothes. This little snowman, he looks brand new not a stain or anything on him and I liked his little scarf and the material I'm gonna put him in my boys room but he's really cute and he actually matches our decor on here if I had a place to put him but he'll go up to my boys room look at the little buttons on the arms he was a dollar 99 I think all right I have clothes over here I'm gonna lay them out so that I can show them to you I'll be right back okay get ready to see lots of plaid starting with this one this tablecloth is massive. It's really pretty. I don't plan to use it this year, but we do have some pretty big fold-out tables that I do not have tablecloths for. And I thought sometimes, um, you know, if we want to do a game night or have friends over um, or even do Christmas at my house for our family, I would have a tablecloth to put on there. For $2.99, I mean, that's a good deal for it. And it's nice and thick. It's a good quality tablecloth. Um, okay, this is a weird one. So I have two boys. I do not have girls, obviously. Well, Maybe all of you don't know that, but the ones who follow along know that. I saw this cape. I just couldn't, I could not pass it up. It's just too stinking cute with this plaid. And it was only $2.49. So it buttons right here at the neck, and then it has this adorable little hood on it. Um, so side note, when I see stuff like this, it's just kind of like timeless and precious and a good deal. I will get it, and I have a box um, stored in one of my closets. Someday I'm going to have an eBay store where I list that stuff, but until I get enough inventory of really good pieces that I love, like 
sweet, awesome things like this. I'm not going to start it, but it's kind of like something for down the road. So that's where that's going to go. It's going to get in a little box and I'll list it on eBay someday. Okay, on to the clothes for me and the boys. I picked up this really cute boyfriend cardigan for me. I don't know if the camera's picking the color up very well, but it's like a mauve-ish color. I love the texture and the pockets. It's just a slouchy cardigan that I think would be cute just to chunk on with some skinnies or leggings and a, you know, baggy shirt. That was $4.99. I got this for my little guy for Carsey. This is a 3T, so I think he might actually wear this for Christmas. I'm not sure yet. But it's nice and thick. Let's see where it's from. Is it from Old Navy? Yeah, it's from Old Navy. Did I already say it's $2.49? And then I saw this sweater. So cute. Some Cherokee. So just Target brand, $2.49. And then the little elbow patches. I picked up these jeans for my older guy, Weston. There's really nothing fancy about them. I like that they're skinny cut. And I really like that they have this waistband. So it's easy for him to pull his pants on and off when he's at school and he doesn't have help. Um, sometimes some of the buttons can be a little bit tricky for a four-year-old, so whenever I find pants like this, I try to get them. These were $3.99. I think they're a little bit overpriced, but really I just went with them because I liked the waistband. And then I got these for next year. These are 60, so this is a size up from what he's wearing right now. I just loved this patch right here, a cute skinny pant, and gray jeans always look so cute on him, and you can do so much with them. Just old navy, nothing too crazy, and they were $3.99. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching the haul. If you are new to our channel, I hope you click that subscribe button. My name is Kendra, if I didn't already say that. Um, I'm trying to get back into a better schedule of posting more frequently. I've got lots of fun holiday stuff planned. If I don't already have it up, our Christmas tree vlog probably is up by now. Um, I have a Christmas themed Q&A. That was really fun. That may or may not be up by now. Anyways, what I'm trying to say, just stay tuned because there's some fun stuff coming, all right? I will see you around. Bye.